Hello everyone. In our last lecture we have seen how to do scroll automation in APM. In this lecture we are going to see how to do swipe event through APM. Okay, so what does it mean? So this is our this is our uh, app in our emulator. So if you go to views We go to the views and then okay it's been click double and then if you go and then gallery And over here, photos and people click on photos, the first option. And then you will see there is a number of photos over here. So this is the default view. So you can scroll, you can hold and you can scroll to the left. Right? So what's really happened? So this is the default, right? So the, the one is the default, it means the first, you know, the image is in is in focus. So if you move on left, so you'll see the second one, it's now it's, it will be in focus. How we can confirm that, you know, which one is focus? Let's go to our APM. Let's see that our APM, you know, we can verify through the some of the uh, attribute which is belongs to okay let's go to the here again let's go to the default position let's open our APM and then refresh here so that it's a uh, sync with the with the screen over here whatever we have okay in the APM so if you just let's select the first is the first one okay so this is our first image so select the first image and then you will find over here some attribute you will find an attribute um, focusable focusable attribute is true when the image when there is an image is on focus it means you selected you know it's on focus and that time the focusable attribute and the value is true but let's see if I moved to this one is now a little bit left side let me move it over here this one okay and then let's refresh refresh again now select the second one so the second one it's now it should be value you'll see the focus is true it means now the second one is focus and if you just select the first one you will see the focusable you see when I after I move it after I move it I, when I select the first one and now it's a focus focused attribute value is now false it means when the image is not focused that time the focus attribute for that specific image value is false and when it's focused like a second one when it's focused you will see that the focus attribute it should be it should be oh, it should be true okay so it should be it didn't this is still it's the first one it didn't change it so it should be true because you know we have been so if you change it over here it will be reflect up there okay it will be reflect now you can see now you can select this one or just refresh it you see now true focus is true so it means you know so what we can do and how we are going to confirm that that your element was you know uh, swipe 
in in our case is vertically like left right so the first when it's it's in default view when it's the default view it, it, it was a focus on first image and that time the focus value was true so we'll verify that part like we'll see that is that a focus value is true or not and then we'll do some sort of assertion and after that we'll perform a swipe like we'll swipe this one you know uh, we'll swipe the image from uh, from right to left and then it's that time you know that second image should be in focus it means focus value for second image should be it's like true but that the our comparison would be the first image is still the first image that time after the swipe it should be the focused focused um, uh, focusable attribute value should be false so if it's a match it means you know it you know it changed the focusable attribute from true to false for the first image after the swipe is happened then we can say there is a swipe has been performed okay that's the way we're going to build it okay let's go let's go to our eclipse so i create a class it's called swipe let's create a uh, method test method public void uh, let's say uh, give a name swipe swipe test swipe demo test right swipe demo test okay and then the the first things was like I have to select the view I hope that you remember that okay I have to select the view uh, let's go there again one by one so I have to select view and after that I click on, on gallery so I have to select view I'm not going back to all the way so to view it's the same thing you know in our previous lecture if you have seen in our previous lecture we use the view you know so everywhere we use the view so I can just copy and paste the old code from my previous lecture so it was the accessibility ID there is a accessibility ID for view so this is the you know the code for view like driver dot find element there is accessibility ID which is view and then I click on it. it's very simple you're supposed to know it and let's make this class um, extend extend with the base class right as you know our base class have the all the driver information all the you know the API server information um, and also to run the server programmatically so everything on a base so I if I make it a, you know parent child relationship so that time it, this driver will get the knowledge from the base so it's the errors will be gone so after that after I click on views this is over here I have to click now it's gallery so gallery is over here let's spy the uh, element for the gallery let's refresh so that I'm back to an, an gallery so click on gallery here is a gallery I can see as also accessibility ID okay the gallery right I can see the accessibility ID is gallery so let's and then I can click it up there so same thing I can you know I can let me copy this one and just change the value okay I can change the value for for the gallery it's the same thing I will say just change the gallery over here the value is you know make sure you type exactly the same value there right so gallery exactly right copy this and then paste it over here instead of views put the galleries okay so it should be click on the gallery right after so let's click on the gallery now click on photos so I have to spy the photos element right so let's refresh and then photos right click on photos so that I have the element for the photos so over here for the photos I have you know there is a accessibility ID you can use again or expert let's use the expert in this case right to copy this one the value of this is the expert and then minimize let's go back to our Eclipse so let's try write a code over there in regards expert driver dot find element driver dot find element by dot xpath xpath and then puts the value 
what's the value of the xpath this is the value of the xpath so make sure when you copy paste just have a double check you can see it added you know the extra slash and then it should be in single code right if you know the syntax of the xpath right and then it should be so that's the xpath and then click use the click function right that's the xpath right and then so over here um, APM accessibility right everything looks good and then so I'll click on photos let's click on photos so now over here after I click on photos it should be over here now you know I have to you know select this element and then I have to swipe so before let's let's select this element so let's spy this the first element right refresh over here you're here right we're here so let me select the first element find out the first element okay this is the first element I don't see the X path is pretty long not recommended to use this what else we can use over here this is a class okay this is a class you can see let me just expand a little bit okay this is the class you can see for that's represent the first element and this is the same uh, tag name that's represent for the second I believe yes this is the third so all the this this three are child okay so if you want you can use you can traverse you can create your own xpath so there is a uh, there is a ID over here you can use ID create and then use the you know attribute or you can just directly use you know so this is the un unit in our one of our previous lecture we have seen that you can use just the tag name as to create your xpath but in that case since there is a three xpath you know the three tag is the same three tag for all this three image you can use the just position so this is the one right this is the one they copied and let's see how can you do this so it's we, we did it before I think so we did in uh, probably long press in our long press I think so we did before here if you see we pass the position uh, somewhere or maybe in another uh, another scroll one it is we did it somewhere so let's let's see you will see so all we can do we can say say you know driver dot find the element by dot xpath xpath okay so this is the xpath and then how it's start xpath is start with the double slash and then this is the value of the xpath okay and in that case you can pass one more thing we can you can just um, cover that and then then you can just pass the the position the position is the first image sorry this is the first image right this is the first image so it's a position would be one okay so let's put this one this is the okay this is the locator for that first image let's put this one in a variable say I would say first image first image and then uh, web elements return to web web element okay how are your mouse okay input the package so this is the web element so now what we can do now we're going to you know uh, the first things when it's selected the first image see and it's a high default and first image you will see focused it should be focusable this attribute and the value is true focusable attributes its value is true so what we can do now we can say so this is the first image right so this variable first image let's put this one the first image this variable dot this variable dot get attribute there is a method is called get attribute get attribute you'll, you'll see the get attribute 
get attribute what's the attribute so and it's it's expect a string so puts the string so get attribute what's the attribute name so you can you can get an attribute of an element the attribute name is focusable you can get an attribute of an element this is the attribute okay it should be true right it is the value of true when it's the default position and select that one it should be it is the value of true we know that right so let's put so it will so it will get you the attribute okay it will give you the attribute what is that it what is something is like true right so let me put this one in a also variable or we can say okay um, the value of attribute or you know what let me maybe it's I would say uh, put your name so just re re so in this image this image you know from from this image that we're getting the attribute attribute is focusable so the value of the focusable right now it's true right but it is an, a string okay I will say the uh, first time value first first value first time value okay so first time value of this attribute for of, of this image the first image the values you know it should be true we know that right so it is a string is it's return a string okay okay and then we can do some assertion we'll say assert assert dot assert assert equals so we're going to compare assert dot assert equal okay assert dot assert equal so assert dot assert equals it should be this should be true true and then and then this should be also true then it should be right so first times this should be true this should this should be true it is an string okay so we're comparing to a string and then and also we're expecting our expecting value is true and we're comparing the the uh, you know the focusable attribute value also true it should be so it should be this is the before assert before it's you know this scenarios before before perform scroll before perform swipe swipe okay now you know what would be the after swipe so after we have seen if we swipe if we do a swipe so what's the swipe let's move on let's go to here so if I swipe we have seen that right if I swipe the first image would be the if I swipe so it means let's move on this and then select the second one okay then go to the over here refresh it so after the swipe after the swipe you know, select the first image again so this is the swipe happen and you will see focus is now focusable is false right so if it's a swipe happen it will change the value of the focusable attribute okay for the same image so that's the you know uh, we can verify that you know and in the middle will pass the swipe action okay hopefully you got my point so here is a let's move copy these things I will paste it here again this is after 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 perform the swipe okay after perform the swipe the same you know so let's me change this one uh, first time you will say second time second time I put a variable so after you know, swipe happen the value of the focusable attribute should be false so this time you know it will be false false right and then let's copy this one and paste it over here right and the between the middle you know when it's gonna be changed the us uh, the value of the focusable uh, to false after you perform the swipe between there we'll perform the we'll say perform the swipe perform swipe action 
right? How to perform the swipe action? Now, to perform swipe action, you know, we can use the APM doc, right? It's the same doc we used, uh, you know, in our previous lecture too. Uh, you will find the uh, link in the below direct description also that where is give you all the code related with the different APM gesture. So here is the swipe. You can find mobile uh, swipe, swipe gesture. Okay, here is the code for the Java. So if before I co uh, copy and paste, we will copy and paste. We will use again, and I'm not going to detail that much, explain that much because it's you. If you if you haven't gone through my previous lecture, you already know over here we're using a execute a scripter a method inside that you know there is an event. This is the event. Let me make it bigger. This is the event, right? This is the mobile event, which is a swipe gesture, and and then you have to pass a immutable, you know, the map like map uh, key and value. Here is the key, you know, this is the key, and this is the value. This is the key. So number of key and value, it's it's given over here, and those are like you can see the key value. It's like you know the coordinate, like left coordinate, like since you're going to the swipe, you know your swipe have to be, you know, there is a different. If you don't know the element. If you don't know the element, like you know, you don't know the element that it, on the element you are using to move on, uh, perform the swipe. That time you have to use some coordinate, like left coordinate, right coordinate, and you have to pass the value, right? And so those are here is a two things. Over is the element. If you know the element, you know that you are using the element, you are holding the element and performing the swipe. That's you know, if you use the element, then your combination will be a little bit different than this but if you don't know the element that time you know you have to use exactly the same you know the code like uh, using different coordinate of the left right top all those things but those so, so either you will use the element or you use left top wide height this is the the com you know coordinate value other than you know there is a, some mandatory value that you have to provide which is the direction you can see there is a direction over here there's a key is the direction and the value is left direction is that you can see mandatory value so it have to you have to apply the direction like up down left or right because you know you are doing a swipe so either you are going to do a horizontal swipe or you are going to do a vertical swipe so that you have to must you know provide over here here you have to tell you know which direction you know you are going to provide the uh, the swipe uh, action in our case it's the left side right we're going to swiping from right to left so this is the already the is given over here so we'll use this one and another one percentage this is the size of a swipe as a percentage of a swipe area size this is the you know it is like your thumb length size like how how big you know how much area how big thumb thumb nail you are going to use you know to perform your swipe like usually it's the value it's you know uh, uh, it's from 0.1 to 1 percent so if it's one percent is hundred percent if it's one is which is a hundred percent it means you are fully using your full thumb lane to perform your swipe so here is a you know this is a very standard like 0.75 not fully hundred percent thumb lane but you know almost the you know uh, it's like 75 percent you are using so you can use this one as the default value but this is a mandatory value that you have to you can see you have to have to provide it over there okay and there is a speed also there is a default value is speed like 5000 milliseconds right so this is the default value so you know you don't have to worry about that so let's do this and um, uh, anything else so in our case we have the element so we're going to let's copy this in a code then we'll update this one as per our the element so this is the perform to swipe here let's hover your mouse Input the JavaScript executor, JavaScript executor class related package. Okay, and then over here also, uh, this is the from the Google. Okay, collect. Okay, that's right. So here, what you're going to do, if you remember, since we have the element, so this is our element, right? Uh, what is our element? This is our element, the first element. This in this element. This is a locator for the element. In this element, we're using, to, we're going to click, hold, and we're going to swipe. So since we have the element, we don't want to use this coordinate, the like imm immutable map key value. Like we don't have to provide this. 
this is we're not going to provide this instead of instead of that we can use the same uh, long press we use if you remember that our long press we use similar JavaScript executor class same you know uh, and call the method execute script and then is this is the uh, event of the mobile right what kind of uh, gesture we're going to use and over here is the key value for the key value for uh, uh, for this event right so here after immutable map here is the element ID and then you have to cast with the remote web element then this is the value of the element okay let's copy this let's copy this guy and up until duration okay let's copy this and go back to there uh, swipe right and then paste it here okay so here this is the locator exactly so this is the element ID this is the element ID is the key and this is the the value so what will be the value our value would be the first image this is the value let's paste it here this is the value and get ID right and then direction and then left okay the person is okay that should be good so just uh, before I run the code one thing I believe over here so the comparison we're doing the assertion over here so it will return the true but it is in a string okay so I didn't make this true as any string let me put this one a string it is not boolean it is a string right so we're comparing with the string over here also it is also returning false which is a string value so we're comparing a string okay that should be good let me uh, run it before I run it let me kill the server okay and then let me close my APM server too quit the session so that it doesn't interrupt uh, with the execution okay and uh, let me go to you know I'll just put it this one it's at home okay let me run it let's go run it oh I didn't put the test annotation okay make sure you put the test annotation not the base class yeah make sure you put the test annotation okay hover your mouse about the package save it then run it run it testing okay let's it should kick off uh, the server Here we go. I can see the the APM server got kicked off. Looks good. They so should invoke the app soon. Here we go. I can see the app got invoked over here. Should click on views first. Looks clicked already clicked on there. Okay, then supposed to click on gallery. Yeah, it's clicked on gallery. Then clicked on uh, supposed to click on photos. Clicked on photos. Pretty good. And then it's supposed to you know do the swipe. Here we go. You saw that it was swiped and then now it's got the uh, it got closed okay so it did the job exactly the way it's supposed to okay it performed the swipe action and the, there's one pass over here no failure looks good to me everything 
okay so that's fantastic it's the one shot it was able to done so let's do the optimization things so as you know in our base class we're building a util uh, method also over here like the reusable method so it is a swipe action swipe performance you know you have to probably you have to do so many times it depends on like you know different scenarios so it is a common repeatable scenario so let's you know copy and paste the swipe action this things okay this thing swipe perform the swipe thing copy and then put in a base class over here let's create before the after class over here that you yeah, don't let's create another uh, the common method for the swipe say public void then I would say swipe uh, swipe action swipe action okay and then paste all the code over here let's remove this guy okay this is the swipe just and then here we need a couple of I uh, think uh, parameter over here first image the first image is a wave element right element this one so copy this one place it over here say uh, wave element this is the wave element right wave element hover your mouse input the package and then comma and then what else over here direction so because the direction is not uh, fixed right it will be direction this time we we swiped to the left you may you need to swipe to the right you may need to swipe to the you know up or down it really depends so this is not a fix so what if you know the value of this direction I pass you know when you call the method depends on whatever the scenarios that time you will pass that time you know I can say over here and it is a string you can say string right so let's make it string type data type and say uh, uh, I will say direction direction swipe direction okay let's make it a swipe direction swipe direction okay so this is the variable so swipe direction and then it will pass the value you know what would be the swipe direction would be over here okay in this case your direction would be right so we have to pass there let's go to so here let's before we go change up there let's put it over here so swipe direction it's now over here this is the value of the swipe direction so what would be the value when we'll call we'll pass it an argument okay let's call this method now make sure we save it from our actual class from here right so let's remove this guy we don't need this guy anymore so call this method directly and then pass the value so you can see when you hover this it says add the argument to match okay wave element so what would be the wave element first is a wave element you have to pass uh, your first image like this is the wave element first and then also the value of the in the direction which is the left right right which is the left right sorry okay left is a string value right so what will happen so this call will get call so you know and then you go here click on there it will come to over here and the wave element first image this is the 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 you know the locator for this image will be passed over here you can you can give whatever you can see over here you can say ELE ELE that's fine you can put ELE it's not necessary you have to give the same uh, you know uh, variable so that that will first image the locator will be you know to replace with this ELE so you will you ELE will have the value of the locator and then over here and the left will come over here so it means left will come over here right so it will move to the left okay save it long press uh, sorry swipe is over here save it so it should be good now okay so that's the way you know uh, you can do a uh, you know you can you can perform your 
swipe action whether it's the left now you know or right any direction the code is already there all you have to find out the you know locator for the image or the element that you're going to use to swipe and after that you know find out some sort of logic that we found over here that you know some attribute we found focusable attribute was true at the beginning before was saw uh, you know the swipe action performed and it changed to the false after the swipe has been performed so the, in the middle we perform the swipe so this will this to you know assertion this to assertion it's confirmed that you know that there was a swipe has been performed so that's the way you can build and the same code you can use anytime anywhere you need to do the swipe action again so that's all for today thanks a lot have a good one bye bye